sales amount, we can put it as currency, okay? Currency is also known as fixed decimal number, um, and it has a fixed location for the decimal separator. It works with four decimal places, although it only displays two of those decimal places. Home, close and load to, and click OK. We can close the Power Query pane here. And Power Query, although we were seeing the currency format there in Power Query Editor, that is not really transported to our spreadsheet here. So what we can do is to come here and find that little black arrow, click once and then click another time to make sure you select the entire column of the table, including the header of the column. Okay. And now we can come to home and say, for example, we want this as currency. Or if you don't want to have the dollar sign there because it makes it a little bit cluttered, you can say none. And maybe we don't need the two decimal places there either. So we can uh, set this to zero decimal places. OK, so that's that's looking good now. If we refresh our query, let's see what happens. Let me put just one more store here. I just need to do right click and now refresh. And it already came, uh, brought the data here. The format was kept. If for any reason it was not kept, so it, let's say the sales amount number format went back to not having the thousand separators and all that, you can come to data and then here properties having a cell selected in this table properties and see if we have here preserved cell formatting. When setting up the format, make sure that you include the header. I was trying this before without doing that. And every time I was refreshing the table, the new rows would not get the format that I had set up. 